friends. Well, it's official. President Trump is not going to start a new party, which I understand the reasoning, but at the same time, I still believe the Republican Party is tainted. It has been tainted, and I, I will say I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed because for President Trump taking the Republican Party back after they did the unforgivable. They betrayed him. They betrayed him. They betrayed the American people. They, you know, figuratively punched him, kicked him, kneed him, and filled him full of more stab wounds than Julius Caesar. And um, not two months later, he turns around and says he's going to work with them. And after they tried to impeach him, and it was just pathetic. Um, I see his point about not thinking they can get um, another party going that could beat the Democrats. But what about the voting system, the Dominion voting? What is, is that going to get fixed? Are we going to have something different? Is there any reason the public should believe that their votes are going to count next time? Seriously? So apparently the Republicans' uh, plan is to just sit back, do nothing, and wait for 2024 and hope there's something left to save. <sighs> so I really don't know. I mean, everybody is glad President Trump is still doing well, but I'm not entirely sure that America is safe. I'm thinking there are still pretty tough times ahead, and I just don't like seeing everyone laying down and dying, because basically the Democrats are going to have a war by attrition. It's like siege. You know, they're cutting everybody off from their jobs, or locking them down, making them poor, and eventually, you know, they're going to wreck the country. And I said, the voting system is not addressed then what's the point in voting? So, I mean, everybody in America has been raised and conditioned to depend on a government system, the government being your mama and your papa. And um, so it's very hard for people to think of life as an independent person, as a pioneer, as out of the box. They cannot conceive of another type of existence. And I believe that it's going to take creativity and ingenuity to, you know, preserve anything that's left of America. If there's still something left, we don't know for sure if there is. Do the American people still have the will to be the American people? Or have they forgotten how? I'm afraid, like I said, we've had too many decades of prosperity. We've forgotten how to... Be brave <laughs> and be strong, be free. We've forgotten. So that's a definite concern going forward. Um, and one thing I'd say, I do not believe in these talk show hosts that all they do is get up, get, use their platform to gripe, 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 complain, 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 complain. It's my firm belief that if you're going to complain, you better have a solution, buddy, or else I'm not going to listen to you hand to hand up. I'm not going to listen to you if you don't have a solution or a workable bit of hope, progress for the future, for the cha for change. People like Mark Levin just want to bellyache for a couple of hours every day and then say, why well, isn't anybody doing anything? Charge people, charge! As I sit here in my warm little office. Ah. Uh, so bottom line is, the point is, people, if they haven't been strong enough to resist the left just being grumpy at them, how are they going to be strong enough to fight back now? It's getting harder and harder and harder by the day. And I bet everyone wished they had fought back sooner, decades ago, but at that time, they just didn't see the need. And here we are. So, 
I said, I'm not sure convinced the Republican Party is going to really do anything. They have done very little in the past. They be completely betrayed President Trump, and I don't like seeing him trust them. I don't like it. I mean, I guess he knows what he's doing, but see, this proves that I am not just 100%, you know, mad Trump fan. I am, I will disagree whenever I disagree. And I think the Republican Party has, has killed themselves. And I don't see any reason why it should receive resuscitation. It has killed itself. And the American people need to start looking other places for their future. The Republican Party has betrayed them for the last time. And, I mean, that party, it needs renamed. We're talking about rebrand. So, I mean, it's up to everybody. I mean, we can't, none of us can, can save America by ourselves. It's, freedom is a collective effort. We all have to pitch in, and in little ways. And if we just start by saying no, start by doing, being proactive, start by doing good things. I mean, I know it's going to be a long, slow process, but we have to have faith and we have to push back and keep going. All right, everyone. Talk to you later. Let freedom ring.